Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and welcome to part one on how to make a steampunk spells mini album. So in this uh, part I will show you a bit what we are going to use and uh, show you the hinges for the envelopes uh, we are going to use for the album and um, also uh, some tags that uh, goes through the album and uh, also show you a bit fussy cutting if you haven't seen my videos before. So we will start with the papers we are going to use. And it's a Graphic 45 a Steampunk Spells. And this is a really fun and great paper and colorful. So uh, we are going to use the 6x6, 8x8 and also the 12x12 12 paper line. And um, we're also going to use some uh, shipboard cutouts and some cardstock uh, cutouts. And um, I will not use uh, so very much of this in the album because I have a lot of uh, fussy cutting here. But uh, we'll try to show you if you don't like to do so much uh, fussy cutting uh, what else you can use. So, and also some uh, sticker sheets and uh, alphabet stickers. And we are also going to use the signature series uh, coordinations. And um, we need something to score with. And uh, if you don't have a, a scoring um, a tool like this, you can use uh, your ruler and find the score tool and score on the paper, like so. So, but it's uh, really helpful to have this. And uh, we're also going to need something to cut the paper with. And here I'm using this Fiskars. And here again, if you don't have any uh, like this, you can use a ruler and uh, cut your paper. So I will move this out of the way and be back with the other things. So these are the envelopes we are going to use. And it's uh, the Graphic 45 um, policy envelopes. And here I have five left. I used seven in my uh, last project. It was six in a pack. So we are going to use up this uh, uh, five leftovers I have. And uh, we are going to need some glue. And here I use uh, Scotch Strong and Precise Glue. And that's the same as uh, Scotch Quick Dry Glue. And this is uh, a really quick drying glue. So if you need some time, use a glue that uh, takes a bit longer. So you can move it a bit. And uh, also using uh, Claudine Halmut Multimat. And I also like to have some repositional. This is uh, my stick. And uh, some uh, score tape in different sizes here. And uh, remember the things I'm using here uh, or showing you here. Uh, it's uh, just a suggestion. Use what you have and what you like to use. So. And we are also going to use some staples, metal staples from uh, Graphic 45, some different things here. And uh, some uh, chain and uh, jump rings. And this I found on Etsy, they have a lot of different things you can find there. And uh, we are going to use some black pop dots and I'm using uh, Stick It 3D foam. And uh, we are going to use um, some gears and the spinners and so. And this I got from Sawcrafters. She has uh, this is really good quality, and she has a lot of laser cutouts. So if you don't have uh, dies like this, uh, you can buy finish there. And she also has a bicycle. We are going to use a bicycle in um, the album. That it's uh, uh, a die, but you can use this instead. And if you don't want to buy it, I will show a bit how you can make uh, the different uh, cutouts we are going to use. And uh, here are some spinners also from Soft Crafters. And um, yeah, we are going to use some gears. And here I have some from Tim Holtz. And some of them I colored in with black and some with gold. So, and uh, some tools here scissors and uh, I like to use uh, embroidery scissors when I fussy cut and this is from Kai 
and also some uh, tools here for the chain and jump rings and uh, here is a non-stick scissor from Scotch and um, something to poke holes with for your brads and so and if you don't have uh, like this you can use a big uh, or a thick uh, <laughs> needle and um, I'm going to use some uh, distress uh, crackle paint and uh, distress uh, black soot paint um, both in black and you can use uh, embossing powder also if you like to so we see if we will use that and uh, some thread this is a strong thread from Gitman. I'm not sure what it says here. Polyester. That is a bit thicker thread. And a glossy accent and crackle accent. And um, I'm going to use some um, distress inks. And uh, most we are using this black suit and uh, vintage uh, photo. You can use any you have. Um, yeah, <laughs> and uh, we are also going to color in a bit with the forest moss and uh, ripe persimmon and the wild honey and uh, yeah, I can show you a bit this one. Here is a spellbinder's uh, die with a spider web here. And uh, if you don't have this die, I will try to show you how you can make your own spider web. So, and we need some pens. Uh, this is uh, just a drawing pen and this is a marker and this is waterproof from Sig. So when we use a multimat, it's important to have a waterproof. I go around all my images and uh, cutouts with this uh, marker. And um, we are going to use a TVEC envelope, and this you can get in an office supply store. And that's only to uh, help the hinges not to tear so easily, so you don't don't have to use this if you don't can uh, get it. So it's uh, just to make the album a bit stronger. And uh, also some clips are great to have, and this uh, you can get in a har hardware store. And uh, yeah, some acetate when we are gluing down things so you can use from your packaging, some strips of that, and uh, magnets, and this I got from Super Magnets here in uh, Europe, I'm not sure if uh, they ship worldwide, but uh, you can get them um, uh, on Etsy and um, just search for uh, strong magnets and they have them in different sizes. And also Basic Grey has some good quality strong magnets. So I think that was it. I will maybe also use uh, some Talcum Baby powder. So yeah. Then, then we can move on to the album and uh, put some hinges on that one. So I uh, just clean up here and I'll be back. So it's also good to have a wet uh, cloth uh, when you are crafting, a bit wet cloth. And I um, also forgot to show you, this is uh, cardstock from uh, Basil Prismatics. So uh, this we are going to use for some uh, photo mats and the hinges. So I already cut out the hinges here, but the first I think I will tell you a bit here. Uh, I cut out just a tiny bit on the bottom here just a small so it will open here and um, here this is uh, the flap so that will go for the back page and uh, then we have four of these envelopes and uh, one of them we are going to cut out this here flap here three here. We are going to score them at um, let's see here. If we take this all the way up then we score at uh, one and a half and that then it creates a bit of a room here when we fold this up. Oops. So 
we have some room here when we are embellishing on the other side here. So I've done that with the other two here, I think. <laughs> yeah. So then we can start with the um, with, uh, hinges. And for the hinges here, I cut out the strip that's the same width as this one, and uh, it's about um, uh, 4 and 1 sixteenths of an inch. So you just measure uh, your, uh, your envelope, and then you can cut out a long strip of paper and then back it with a TVEC envelope. And you can glue it on with uh, this score tape, or you can use liquid glue, or you can. Uh, I use Exeron machine and I use this here. So I find that very easy and helpful. So these are cut at 1 and 1 eighth of an inch. And um, we may be not need that wide here, but uh, we don't know yet how much uh, the album will build up. So I drew a line here so I know where to cut it. So, but if you watch uh, all the tutorials first, you will see how much we need here. But um, this we are going to score at a half inch, and that leaves five eight of an inch. So we maybe cut it off to to uh, one inch here. So we we'll see. So then we can start um, taking this on the envelope, and we will start with the front page that that's, has no flap. And we don't need the hinge on this side, only on this side. So we are going to glue this on here. So here you can use scotch tape or you can use uh, liquid glue. We can try both and see how it works. So we can start maybe with a liquid glue on this side here, so you can see. And uh, you see it's holes here. and we don't want to glue that down. So here we are going to put in acetate so we don't glue it all down. So we go all the way up to the end here. You need to be a bit precise. And here we maybe can use score tape. So I glue on the uh, side who hasn't uh, this mark here. I'm not sure I told, but I colored in with uh, my marker on the ends here, so the white won't show up. So, I need one more of these inside here. So you see, we glue it on this side where the flap is uh, coming over. So now it will maybe stick on the inside here. So here we can use some talcum baby powder so it won't stick. Now this did open here. And the glue, we need to glue that down, but we can take the baby powder inside here first. And stick. So if the envelope does open like so, then you can just uh, glue it back on again. Take maybe a couple lip on here so I'm sure it's glued well down. And now for the other three here, then we are going to have the hinges on both sides. So I think I 
just use the liquid glue here. And we have some time to position it. Taking this acetate inside. side. Not sure I told but uh, you need eight of these hinges here. And uh, you don't have to put this acetate inside if you want to glue it all down but then you have to make uh, the tags we are making a bit shorter. I will do that with the other two envelopes. It's uh, the same and I will be back. So now I glued on all the hinges here and I'll show you a bit. So this will be fastened with this one. So if we need to cut this off, it, uh, we can cut it off later. So this we will bind when uh, we have uh, decorated the pages. So, and, and this one here, and the next one on here, and then the last one on this one, like so. So, and also work a bit with the plastic, and it disappeared inside, so it doesn't glue uh, fast. So, uh, just work a bit uh, until it's uh, dried up. I'll leave it a bit in here. So then we can start to make some tags and uh, here we are going to make, uh, I think we will have two of these in the album and then we are uh, this uh, you can use as a arrow or a rocket. So I will show you how you can construct this. I've uh, showed this before but uh, if you didn't see it so we'll do it one more time. So if you see it just fast uh, forward. So here I cut out a strip of copy paper, it's a bit uh, thick paper and I cut it at 9 and by 3.5 and, and folded it in 2. So then we are going to take a line on 1 inch here. And then we mark it at 2 inch from this side. And one and a half here, and three quarter here, and here is where it's a fold. So then we can start to draw the lines from this two inch to the uh, bottom here, like so, and. Um, Up from the end here to the one and a half mark here, and then from this end to the three quarter inch here. So then you get your shape, you can maybe cut it off really fast so you can see it. So I will post uh, these uh, measurements on my blog. And also a picture of it, so and I can link below so you can find it easy. So now we created an arrow. So, so we are going to glue on the black paper here. Measure a bit bigger if you like to and make one other shape, but I find it most easy to, to cut it off later. So. And 
and uh, all around here I've gone with a black marker. So now we will cut it off about one eighth of an inch uh, around here and uh, that can be a bit difficult to, um, to see and cut straight so we can draw some lines here. show you this now so we can cut it off and you can always take a razor after if you didn't line it up straight so I need another line here to show just cut around things but when it's uh, uh, shapes and uh, intricate I, uh, yeah, I find it easy to draw some lines. So I will continue to do this and I'll be back and show you. So now I've cut it out and I have a line here that I don't want so just take my eraser and take it away. So this is the first tag and this is what's going inside the envelopes. So we are also going to make some other more regular tags and um, this is cut eight and a half uh, by three and a half and the black for the back here is cut eight and three quarter by three and three quarters. So we want an angle here on the side here. So I cut out a strip of uh, three quarter of an inch and then I cut it the other way three quarter and um, then we are going to cut it over like so. So then you get the shape. You can just snip off here if you like to. Just showing you here if you want it precise. So here you also can put on a repositional glue if you like to. ready to be glued on here but maybe we will ink it up and that would maybe be better to ink it up first before we glue but I don't know that yet so we just do it so some lines can show up from the glue when you ink it up so we'll just try to press it well down Uh, these uh, shapes again and cut off after them but I just like to eyeball it. So on these tags we are going to decorate up a bit more later. So that was that and then I think I will show you a bit of uh, fussy cutting and you, uh, here you can skip this part if you've seen it before or know how to do it. So just show you a bit fussy cutting and um, the marker and the multi mat. So here I already cut out a lot of it. So here is a little spot that I want to get rid of. Here you can color in with your marker if you like to. But uh, I think it creates more depth uh, to the image if you uh, cut it out. So just snip hole here and I go from the back side. 
So see if I can get it close up here. And uh, as you see, I don't uh, move my scissor, I move my image. And when it's tiny areas like this, I just take my scissor a bit up. Not all the way, like so, if you see it. Just a tiny bit up. So and then we can take this part here. We are going to use in the album. So try to do uh, as precise as you can, but uh, we will cover up some mistakes with uh, with um, marker. And uh, if you don't want to, you don't have to fussy cut this out at all. So. Side when I'm doing this. If I miss it up so it won't show on the front. So in this tiny little spot here as well. So and I bend it a bit if I'm not precise cut here so I can get the marker a bit over. So then we can take the multi mat on. So here we can use a brush or anything, but I like to do both sides in one time. <laughs> so I just use my fingers. I like to get the feel of it. Sometimes it can uh, be some white in the ends here, if you see it now. Uh, that's uh, a bit important to get rid of, like so. So just work a bit with it. And if you lay this down on the craft mat now, it can uh, create... Um, the glue can uh, stick on the outside here, and but you can take it off. But I like to just put it up like so, until it dries on something I don't <laughs> use. So it doesn't take so long to dry, and you can also use your heat uh, the tool to do it. But be a bit careful if you do it too much; it can start uh, bubble up. So um, in the next part, we will start to decorate um, the inside of the first page here. Let's see here. Um, this side here, so the inside. Because uh, on the outside we need some magnets and some close-ups and uh, we don't know how thick it is going to be and the flap we need to make a bit uh, longer. So we will wait with that. So then we will start on this side. So thank you so much for watching and uh, have fun creating everyone. Bye bye!